Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Gokain from SBU StarCraft, and I'm going to bring you a match today between Kasprik and Baron Fell. Kasprik are Green Zerg spawning at the 6 o'clock position on Metalopolis, while Baron Fell, the Yellow Protoss, spawning at the 3 o'clock position on Metalopolis. These are close positions by land, and we see that very short rush distance by land from the Protoss base to the Zerg base. Zergs tend to love this map as it is it's, it is seemingly the, seemingly the most balanced map of the Blizzard map pool, but Zergs really love the cross positions. Cross positions allow for a fast expansion as the naturals or the natural and the uh, uh, later expansions do direct away from the opponent's base, but in these positions, Zerg is going to have to defend against early rushes as they are more common and more powerful because of the close rush distances. Right now we see everything is going pretty normally. Pylon in Baronfell's base, no proxy or anything of that sort yet. Um, we will probably be seeing the gateway soon. And Gateway does go down, everything is completely normal, Gateway on 13, and we have uh, Casper going for an Extractor before Spawning Pool. Going to probably be getting out that Metabolic Boost very quickly after the Spawning Pool is done. Speedlings are so vital in, in Speed for Zerglings rather, is so vital in getting that Surround on uh, the Zealots, or actually being able to run up into the opponent's base and do a lot of economic damage to to the probes so because of that threat we see Baron Fell having to wall off going to probably be getting the cybernetic school right here we see that he's rallied his first unit to this spot right here and this uh, this probe right here is going to be making the cybernetic core once again using the probe that has the minerals in his hand and not the best choice as it is more efficient for him to return the minerals first or get just get a different probe really. Cybernetics core going down, Zealot on his way being chrono boosted to this spot, gonna be probably be holding position right there and metabolic boost is indeed on the way, gonna be getting a few zerglings and more drones and this overlord right here is gonna be scouting into Baronfell's base. Now this extractor right here didn't have any workers mining gas for the longest time. Now if he's going to get that extractor, and indeed a second extractor, without having workers on the gas, that is quite a blunder, as those 75 minerals could be put to better use if he's not going to be getting that gas. But if he had gotten the gas early, he would have been able to pump this stalker out earlier and kill this overlord that's coming into his base right now. Unfortunately, he got the second Zealot, and this Overlord is most likely to be going to get out of this base safely without taking much damage and not dying. And that's kind of unfortunate for Baronfell, as he did have the opportunity to get rid of this Overlord if he had played his build slightly better. Now, did Baronfell see this expansion? Let us check. And no, he did not indeed see this expansion. He did send out a probe earlier, but did not see it going down. And the probe did get killed by the queen. We have our lair almost done. Lair was actually started before this hatchery. So that's very interesting. Going to be getting down a Hydralisk then. And Hydralisks are so good. So good against gateway units. And I actually agree with this choice against um, Baron Fell. Roaches, really they're great against the Zealots. But they take so much damage against the Stalkers, and without speed, they just get kited so easily. So Hydralis, with that range upgrade especially, are so good against uh, the Gateway units. Now the problem with Hydralis is that they are not armored units. So Colossus really just eat them for breakfast. But we probably will not be seeing a Colossus come, uh, come down anytime soon, as Baron Fella is getting 1, 2, and 3 more Gateways. So we are going to be seeing the first the the build that Baronfell utilized in the first game, which is the four gate push, an extremely common and popular push by Protosses nowadays. So simple to do, yet so effective. And the gateway research is done, so he's going to be forming all of these gateways into 
warp gates, warp gate research rather. This probe coming out, and this probe making a, a probe just made is this pylon right here. You're gonna be completely walling off Baron Fell's main, and that's for prevention of any counterattacks onto Baron Fell's base. He does not want any counterattacks really throwing him off while he's doing this push and this lone hydralis comes here miraculously survives and sees that this push is indeed coming sees that probe right there probe gonna be making that pylon right there forward pylon to reinforce this army a lot quicker with those warp gates Casperic in anticipation of this four gate push had thrown down these two spine crawlers over here then uprooted them and pulled them down here gonna be making a third spine crawler so this is a very very solid defense right now. We'll see if it can hold. We'll see if we can. He can play this game out better than he did in the first game. And Queen gonna be coming out, throwing down two creep tumors, one over here, another over here. Gonna be putting his queen over here for defense against this imminent push. Baronfell really re waiting a, quite a while for this the warp gates to finish um, and reinforce his army. Wait, maybe waited just too long as this Zerg army has a lot of a lot of defense right now and engagement is going down. These spine crawlers are doing so much damage on these units, getting a lot of these units into low health. Has one kill, one kill, two kills now on for the spine crawlers. And Casperic really has a nice defense right here. Two queens, a bunch of hydralis, and a couple of zerglings. And this Protoss army is going to try to make another engagement right here. Putting down his uh, force fields, not that great. Force fields overlapping each other, not the best surface area to put them down in. And trying to kite these units back, trying to bring them onto the off the creep rather, where the hydralis are so much slower. Some actually refer to hydralis as creep only unit because they're just so slow off of creep. And this army going to be able to take out this overlord right here. Going to be engaging again. This spine crawler is doing a lot of damage on these units. Hydra's doing so much damage. And not that great of force fields going up. Going to be trying to reinforce this army right here. But this Zerg defense is so tight right now. Zerg at 57 supply. With the Protoss at 40, 48 supply. Protoss has stronger units individually, but with this surprise defense and the fact that the Zerg has a second expansion, while the Protoss is stuck to one expansion, really is going to make it hard for the Protoss to come back in this game economically if he does not succeed in this push. Protoss decides to engage again from the south this time, going from the south is what it should, it should have been doing from the beginning, as these, these spine crawlers over here aren't able to attack him over here. Really suffering too much, too many losses at the beginning of the uh, at the beginning of this push due to the spine crawlers. Force fields going down, but sort of plays willy nilly. These zerglings are going to get killed, but reduce stalkers and sentries right now. Adding in two more zealots to attack, but most likely not going to be enough. This spine crawler really just doing so much damage. Seven kills on the spine crawler. Seven kills and one kill on this spine crawler. These hydralists have so many kills, and. This attack, if it fails, it will spell the end of the game for Baron Fell because he just does not have the economy right now. If we look at the economy, we see that he's actually even, almost even with the Zerg opponent, but the Zerg, you have to keep in mind, has two bases. He will be able to get out so many drones power really hard if this, uh, this attack fails, and that will put the Zerg into such a better position. If we look at the units lost, we have such a difference in units lost for the Protoss of almost 2,000 mineral resources worth of units lost for the Protoss very compared to the Zerg. And that at this point in the game is so huge. Zerg really seems to be doing well in his defenses. Really good defenses and now he's pumping drones out. Going to be pushing forth with his Hydralis. Is he going to engage? Trying to take out this pylon. He's going to engage. Force field going down, not the best force field. All these pro all these hydralis units are able to attack. These uh, zealots are being spawned over here, which is a bad position. All the hydralis in the back were able to take out most of the shields and the health for these zealots. And if we look at the supply right now, we have 46 versus 70. 46 versus 70 supplies. So while this, the Protoss remains stagnant, the Zerg really was able to shoot up with its defense. Now going up to 80 supply versus 40, uh, 46. So that's 35 supply, almost 35 supply differential right now. I don't think that the Protoss will be able to 
take this game. It looks like the Zerg just has too many defenses right now, too many Hydralis. Roach is actually coming out. Roach is going to be helping out so much in this push right now. These units by Baron Fell, they're just they're just not able to cut it at the moment. Really, against Hydralis, what you need is Colossus. Colossus just tear them apart, just eat them alive. But it does not look like we'll be seeing any Colossus come out soon. No Robo Facility, no Robo Bay on the way. And this basically is Baron Fell's last stand. And we'll see what Casper does now. Casper leading 102 supply to 66 supply. Has such a huge econ lead at the moment. 1100 to 700 minerals defense and an engagement is an engagement going to be go down right now Zerg moving up Zerg army moving forward moving forward to attack this army this army protest army pulling the Zerg units back trying to get it off creep force fields going down but to no avail these are these units are able to attack all of the protoss units right now and the Zerg just getting a huge concave right right now and is just able to completely decimate this Protoss army and GG we see a GG from Baronfell Baronfell has left the game and will be losing this series two to one will be put into losers bracket and we have to say Casper's play in this game phenomenal defense going for those hydralisks instead of those roaches really helped him out for defending against the gateway push hydralisks are, hydralisks are so good against just purely gateway units until either the High Templar or the uh, Colossus come out. It, uh, until then, Hydralis just do so well with their range upgrade. And if you can't, really, if you can't force field the Hydralis perfectly with a gateway army, you will not win that engagement, especially when the Hydralis outnumber your gateway units. Uh, thank you for watching this game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Congratulations to Casperic, moving on, and good luck to Baron Fell in the loser's bracket.